Hi, and welcome to another installment of What You Need to Know About Connections. Today, we will talk about integration with Microsoft Teams. So here we are in Connections, and you saw me just clicking on the Teams button in the upper right-hand corner, because anywhere in Connections with Connection 7, you can now easily share whatever page you're looking at in Connections with a Teams channel. So here I selected a Teams channel in the team returning to office called RTO Frankfurt. I'll paste in some uh, message that goes with the URL. And now as I switch over to Teams, you see that in this RTO Frankfurt channel, I have this share that I just initiated from the Connections UI. Of course, any of the users can now click on the URL and jump over. What else can we do? We can add connections into Teams. So not only by a link, by actually adding community apps like a forum or a wiki to a Teams channel. I click on the plus sign at the top, select connections as the app, and first of all, define what community I want to integrate here. I use RTO Frankfurt again as the community of choice. And once I have selected the community, I can choose from the existing applications in the community. We have files, forums, events, highlights, recent updates, and wikis here for this particular community. We go ahead and choose the forum, which I can now um, just shorten the name. And this is the name that will appear at the app on top of the Teams app here. So right now we have the forum from returning to office RTO. And there is the forum straight out of connections rendered here in the Teams channel. Another way that I can bring connections content into the Teams conversation is by um, typing a message here. And you see at the bottom there is the connections icon. So once I'm done typing, I can send this message off, click on the connections icon and select either from recently viewed content within connections or from files where you can see files that have been shared with me or folders. I can simply select the file and post that in Teams. So now a link to that file that lives in connections is shared in the Teams channel. So now let's switch gears and look at the Teams app on an iPad here. So we're in Teams and I'll switch over to from my one to one chats here over to the same RTO Frankfurt channel that we had where you see uh, Felix just having shared the RTO forums and the RTO wikis apps here. So now I can actually open up um, for example, one of these apps will go to the forum that we've just seen how I added it to that channel. And here is that same forum displayed in the Teams app on the iPad. But it's not only to view um, within Teams, this is fully interactive. I can click on this unanswered question here in the forum, go in and type in my reply. So now I'm actually taking the role of the person who wants to answer that question, this question that was still unanswered. So now this is posted back to the Connections community. So regardless of whether you're going into the community through Teams or within Connections, everybody can now see that form question being answered right there in Teams um, posted to the Connections community. Right, that was a really quick overview of today's uh, integration features between HCL Connections and Microsoft Teams. There is more to come. We're working on other capabilities, so check back soon for new features as we roll them out. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.